Today on The Gold Standard. I would just really urge people to, to be very concerned about the future of the stock and bond market over the next couple of years and just try to stop the bleeding in their accounts right now and, and try to give them an opportunity to protect a portion and uh, diversify a portion of their retirement assets. It doesn't, Dave, have to all be in risky, speculative paper assets. This is the Gold Standard from Midas Gold Group with Kenneth Russo. Hello, I'm Dave Dino. Welcome to the Gold Standard, your source for secure investment opinion and information on the advantages of purchasing and owning precious metals. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced collector, this is the program that gives you a realistic weekly perspective on the state of the economy, reliable information about using precious metals, such as gold, silver, and platinum, to safeguard your wealth, and remarkable details about specific precious metal coins and bullion. Ken Russo is a senior vice president at Midas Gold Group, and his peers characterize him as a straight shooter who will work harder for you than anyone else. And you get to hear that each and every week here on the program. Ken, welcome. Glad to be with you, Dave. Happy New Year. Our topic today is one that I have been really looking forward to, how to build your gold portfolio. Uh, we've spoken over the past year about our failing economy, and that kind of sets the stage, I think, for today's topic of moving forward. What were the warning signs as you look back at 2022 that caused so many people to move substantial portions of their cash reserves and investments into the security of gold? Well, Dave, it's been kind of building for the last few decades. It's a debt situation um, where we hear $31.4 trillion all the time of national debt. But if you look at unfunded liabilities like Medicare and defense expenditures and Social Security, I mean, we wrote a blog recently that unfunded liabilities could be $250 trillion. Wow. So it's been a printing of money exercise over the last few decades, and it's really started to ramp up over the last 20 years, and especially over the last 15 years. It's out of control, and now we're starting to see um, you know, that way down the financial system. Mm -hmm. and, and gold, remember, Dave, is for when the financial system and the dollar collapse you're going to want to have gold so you're not financially destroyed. Let's remember what we're talking about, especially so the audience can follow along. But inflation is also an issue, of course. We're at a 40-year high when it comes to inflation. And most people may say, well, I mean, I, I thought gold would be five or $10,000 by now because inflation's been a problem the last two years. Well, they manipulate the price of gold, Dave. They suppress it. People are not going to believe in their, in their money, in their paper money when gold is at five or $10,000. They're going to know their, their dollar is really worthless, basically. And so, you know, the banking system is doing whatever they can to suppress the price of gold, but they can't do that forever. They can't artificially boost up the dollar, and they can't artificially suppress the price of gold forever. They've done it temporarily. They've lied to us and saying that inflation is transitory. We have this under control. They have nothing under control. Nothing is transitory. And the only thing they can do is print more money. And we're looking at a very realistic situation, Dave, of a recession. Some people are forecasting a very, very deep recession or a possibly depression. But however you want to put it, it's not good. And the solution is not more debt to cure a debt problem. That's where we're headed. And we just passed the new $1.7 trillion spending plan, a 4,000 page document that people can't understand. Probably who mm -hmm. knows who read it? And mm -hmm. we'll go over a few of the things that are in there. But this is just a mess of a financial system. It's been building up for a very, very long time. And it's going to end very badly, unfortunately. And what we need to do to protect our money and protect our wealth is what gold is about and what we're talking about, Dave. Ken, what is it about the value of precious metals, like gold and silver and platinum, that have made them preferable to the risky stock market and the dwindling value of the dollar? What makes them preferable? Well, it's protection, Dave. It's diversification. It's a hedge. It's something that always has value. When you're talking about fiat money, which is money that you can just print out of thin air. If you don't take in enough taxes, and if you don't take in enough through business, through GDP and all this stuff, and all the ratios are, are off the charts, 
where is the money going to come from? Where's the money going to come from for the interest that we pay on our debt? I think the interest is about $3 billion a day right now mm -hmm. for just interest. Where's mm -hmm. it going to come from? Well, they have to print it out of thin air. Gold is different. It's tangible. It's something you could hold on to outside of the banking system. It's something that's been money for thousands of years. It's always worth something. Maybe it's barterable. You know, who, who knows? But it gives us the chance to not be financially destroyed when our dollar and our fiat money and all of these fiat currencies that started in 1971, backed by nothing, you could just print them into infinity. So that situation is dire. That situation, Dave, throughout history has never worked where a country has regained and kept its power by just printing money and taking on loads and loads of debt. The financial system and the currency always ends badly. So if you want something that is not worthless in a few years or loses significant buying power or look how much our money buys less year after year after year after year, mm. especially if you can compare it to 20 or 30 years ago, our dollar buys so much less. On the other hand, if you held some of those dollars in gold or other precious metals, you would have at least held your purchasing power. And in most cases, you would have made a pretty substantial profit and gain as well. So gold offers safety as money, Dave, but it also offers an opportunity for people to hold on to their purchasing power and their buying power while these other paper fiat currencies continue to buy less and lose their purchasing power year after year. So the question is, is how could you protect a portion of what either you made or inherited or, or, or invested or traded, who knows how you got it, or maybe you were just lucky. The point is, is that this is going to end badly. It can't continue forever. The politicians and the central bankers have thoroughly abused the system. They've been reckless to just get their friends uh, rich and to, and to get themselves reelected, and all they do is keep spending. If we had a second, let's Let's look at this new spending bill real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. $1.7 trillion. Look at some of the things in this 4,100 page spending bill. $410 million to protect the borders of Egypt, Tunisia, Jordan, Oman, and Lebanon. Okay, we'll protect them from what? I don't know. Um, <laughs> $65 million to restore Pacific salmon populations. I, don't know, I like salmon. You like salmon? Dave? I love salmon. Okay, good. Uh, $3.6 million to, to make a hiking trail for Michelle Obama. We're mm. going to name a hiking trail mm. after Michelle Obama. That's nice. $3 million for an LGBTQ museum in New, New York. That's always good. $750,000 for LGBT, gender non-conforming housing in Albany, New York. Wow. $2 million for the Great Blacks in Wax Museum in Baltimore. Okay, that's fine. Um $477,000 for the Equity Institute in Rhode Island, which is uh, hmm. to in indoctrinate teachers for anti-racial virtual labs. Mm -hmm. So there's just a lot of stuff going on, a lot of spending. Even with a new Congress coming in, they still hmm. shove this down our throat. It's not going to stop. There's agendas out there and there's plans. But the point is, is it's all being financed on the back of good Americans. And it's all being financed on our future generations. And it's outrageous. They're delusional. It's a, it's a system that is doomed to fail. And you can't be financially destroyed, Dave, when all of this comes down. And, and judging by the, by the actions of our present politicians and our present leaders, this is going to end very badly. So we need to protect whatever we can. And obviously, we're just talking about money. There's a lot of stuff going on that are sickening and upsetting and disgusting. But when we talk about our money, this is just something that we can do. Every single American can do right now. They can pull a portion of their money out of the bank. They can pull a portion of their money out of the stock market or the bond market, and they can put it into gold. They can hold on to it, and they can have some wealth preservation, some protection against an economy that is headed in the totally wrong direction. You're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group, and today our topic is how to build your gold portfolio. We've been talking primarily about what we're seeing in the financial markets right now. What we want to do now is look forward. Ken, what are your clients doing to actually build their precious metal portfolios? Uh, what moves are they making? 
Well, like some of the things we've we've been talking about, Dave, you know, if you have some liquid funds at the bank, you could always draw a check or uh, write a personal check or do a bank wire. You can convert those paper funds into gold and silver, take delivery of some coins or bars and, and have them for your nest egg and your legacy. They'll be there for when you and your family need it. Mm-hmm. Other clients may have an old 401k or an old retirement account or an existing IRA, and they may just be getting pounded in the stock market, in the bond market, which has been historically bad this year for the first time stocks and bonds are both taking pretty good uh, hits for sure it's not done there's a lot more to go so some people have been taking some of those retirement funds and converting them sideways into physical gold and silver that you could hold on to in your retirement account instead of being in all paper and being connected to the banking system you could have some retirement funds that are not connected to the banking system or the stock market. And you could have it actually in actual gold bars, gold coins, silver as well, platinum as well. And that would be something that people are doing, which is called the gold IRA. A reminder again that you're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group. And today our topic is how to build your gold portfolio. In a few moments, we're going to take a look at a specific gold product that can add to your secure wealth. And that's coming up right after this. Looking ahead, you don't want to get several months into the new year and say, I wish I would have after a stock market meltdown. Sebastian Gorka here. You can start the year by securing the value of your cash reserves and investments, guarding them against what many are predicting will be a brutal year for the value of the dollar and a stock market meltdown. The economic signs are worrisome. I recommend calling Midas Gold Group to safeguard your wealth with the stability of gold. Gold holds its value when economies fail, with stocks and bonds crashing over 20% in 2022, gold has held its value. Those who converted to gold with Midas Gold Group created a hedge against the ravages of inflation. Go to MidasGoldGroup.com or better yet, call 855-322-GOLD. That's 855-322-GOLD. It's gold you can hold. Call right now, 855-322-GOLD or go to MidasGoldGroup.com. And we're back with more of The Gold Standard, brought to you by Midas Gold Group with Ken Russo. I'm Dave Dino, and our topic today is how to build your gold portfolio. Now, if you live in the Los Angeles or the Phoenix area, you can actually come and visit our local office to meet with us in person. For the address and directions, just log on to our website, MidasGoldGroup.com, MidasGoldGroup.com. For those of you listening in other cities, call us directly at 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD. By the numbers, 855-322-4653. Now, let's treat ourselves by looking at a specific gold product. And today, a gold coin we haven't talked about for a while, the gold Australian swan. Can this coin has a special reason for being so sought after by collectors, right? Yeah, they don't make that many. You know, Dave, Mm. extremely low mintage uh, of these coins. It's uh, made by the Perth Mint in Australia, where they only make about 5,000 coins uh, a year. But it's a a very, uh, very unique coin, yeah. So, I mean, when you talk about some of the other coins, like an eagle or a buffalo, where they make uh, hundreds of thousands or even a million coins, and when you even think about the Australian kangaroo, which is very popular, the, mm-hmm. the, the Australian gold swan is just extremely low mintage. Mm. It makes a very impressive and I think uh, sought after gold coin, as you were indicating. It does. Very unique on the heels of the tremendous success of the 2017 and 2018 releases, Dave, of the swan. Only limited numbers of these coins are available to collectors worldwide. If you're you're interested in something like this, they are available right now to a degree, but it's just another example of a quality mint. And the Perth Mint is a quality mint, Dave, making a very, very beautiful coin, which is not outrageously priced, but it will give people the benefits of gold, which is some of the things that we talked about before to protect themselves against the falling dollar. And I'm going to... um make sure that people know how they can actually look at this coin. They can go to your website, MidasGoldGroup.com, MidasGoldGroup.com, 
and they can actually see this coin for themselves. You have the advantage of being able to hold it in your hand and look at it. Uh, I get a chance to go to your website, and I can take a look at it there, and I can read the uh, description as well. So I would encourage our listeners to go to the website, MidasGoldGroup.com, and take a look at the one-ounce gold Australian swan coin. You're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group. Today our topic is how to build your gold portfolio, and we'll return to that in just a moment. At the start of 2022, you could invest in almost anything and make money. The stock market was still growing, real estate was high, and cryptocurrency was the rage. What a difference a year makes. 2023 is going to be a year of economic upheaval, according to many economists. Sebastian Gorka here. The Biden regime is pressing ahead with its leftist agenda, ignoring the growing signs of a recession. But many economists are warning of massive layoffs and huge stock market losses, which is why I recommend calling Midas Gold Group to safeguard your wealth with the stability of gold while you can. Gold holds its value when economies fail, guarding against the ravage of inflation and the ruin of a recession. Talk with veteran-owned Midas Gold Group. Go to MidasGoldGroup.com or better yet, call 855-322-GOLD. 855-322-GOLD. It's gold you can hold. Call now, 855-322-GOLD. We continue now with the Gold Standard, brought to you by Midas Gold Group with Ken Russo. I'm Dave Dino. And a reminder here that if you live in the Los Angeles or the Phoenix area, you actually have an advantage where you can visit our local office, meet with us in person, even see some of the gold coin and gold bullion that we talk about here on the air. For the address and the directions, just log on to our website, MidasGoldGroup.com, MidasGoldGroup.com. For those of you listening in other cities, call us directly at 855-322-GOLD. 855-322-GOLD. By the numbers, 855-322-4653. We're talking with Ken Russo, Senior Vice President at Midas Gold Group. Ken, 2022 was a rocky year financially for both our country and individual investors. So let's take a further look at how listeners can actually secure their investments by converting some of their gold, specifically to a gold IRA. How do they do that? Well, it's a process, you know, Dave, but uh, you have to do it with people that that's their uh, job and that's their knowledge basically starts with the conversation. So, you know, give us a call or or go to the website and fill out an online form and just say, hey, you know, give me a call when you when you have a minute. Typically, clients would share their statement for their IRA or their Mm -hmm. old 401k Mm kind of gives us an idea of what maybe to suggest to them or how long the process might take because every plan is a little different. Second step is we would open up an account at a self-directed IRA company and issue the client account number. Once we do that, we fill out a transfer form so we can take the existing funds that they have in their retirement account and send them over tax-free to their new IRA. And once the funds are there, we can talk about what precious metals would be uh, appropriate, whether client wants gold or silver or a mix or maybe even some platinum. And and then we can talk about the process and uh, the costs to do this. And it's a pretty streamlined process. In most cases, Dave, it only takes a week or two, but mm. I would just really urge people to, to be very concerned about the future of the of the stock and bond market over the next couple of years and just try to stop the bleeding in their accounts right now and, and try to give them an opportunity to protect a portion and uh, diversify a portion of their retirement assets. It doesn't, Dave, have to all be in risky, speculative paper assets. And this is something that I will tell our listeners I have done personally for my family. And as you describe the process, I want to assure people that you walk us through each step of the process along the way, and you actually make it very easy to do. And one thing I want to stress, and I know you like to stress this, is that a gold IRA from Midas Gold Group is not paper gold, right? No. And remember, Dave, we, we only feel there's one way to actually own gold, uh, and that's in physical, tangible form, either in a bar or a coin. If you can't hold it, you don't own it. We, and especially in this particular market where things are just disappearing, where you wake up and your crypto assets are gone, or you wake up or your stock has gone to zero. I mean, it's almost like the markets are conditioning investors to, to be okay with assets disappearing. Well, it's not okay. 
So to combat that, you have to be able to hold some of your wealth tangibly in your own possession, in your gun safe, underneath the floorboards, in the basement, somewhere buried in the backyard, wherever it is, private vault. Even some people have no other choice. They keep it at a lockbox at a bank, which I'm not so crazy about, mm. but it's better than uh, it's better than nothing. But the point being is the only way to hold gold and silver is in physical form. An ETF doesn't cut it. Uh, mutual funds for precious metals doesn't cut it. Mining shares for a stock, maybe in a gold miner or a, a silver mining company doesn't cut it. None of those give you the actual benefits of the physical gold and silver products themselves. That's all electronic. It's all dependent on the markets. It's all just another way for the banking system to keep your funds wrapped up in the actual financial banking system. The only way to avoid that, pull some money out of the system and actually hold on to your precious metals yourself. You're listening to The Gold Standard with Ken Russo from Midas Gold Group, and today our topic is how to build your gold portfolio. Ken, when you have a gold IRA and you withdraw from that, it's just like withdrawing from a normal IRA. You do pay, at that point, you do pay some of your taxes on it. But let's talk a little bit more about those withdrawals. This is something that was quite an eye-opener for me. Your withdrawals from a gold IRA can be taken either in cash or in actual physical gold, right? Yeah, and it happens every day. There's a distribution request form that we help clients out with, and if uh, you need money to live on, we could sell your precious metals for you, and then uh, you can take a check or a bank wire, or mm -hmm. in other cases, if people want to stockpile their precious metals from their IRA account, and take advantage of some tremendous tax benefits of a, of a gold IRA, which we could explain to the clients about that. It's a little bit of a longer conversation. Uh, if you want to actually explore that and take your gold and silver and platinum products out of your IRA uh, from the depository and, and take them yourself you, through a distribution, you can definitely do that either a little at a time, Dave, or all at once. Just remembering that it's a uh, distribution and uh, you will receive a, a 1099 uh, form at the end of the year. So the following year on your taxes, you have to tell your accountant that you pulled uh, some money out of an IRA. In this particular instance, you pulled precious metals, but it's mm -hmm. nobody's business what you pulled out. It's private. Mm -hmm. But it is a way, Dave, to stockpile a lot of retirement precious metals, some of those gold and silver products that you have in your retirement and in your gold IRA without actually having to come out of pocket with any cash or liquid funds in order to purchase gold. It's a, it's a tremendous opportunity to do that, not to mention to not have all of your retirement funds, remember, in the paper, stock, or bond market, which is the actual reason why people should be doing this mm -hmm. diversification, Dave. You have given us a lot to think about, about how to build a gold portfolio, and I would encourage people to look very seriously at this here at the very beginning of the year as you look ahead to 2023 and some of the financial conditions that Ken has brought to our attention. That is going to bring us to the end of our time together today here on The Gold Standard with Ken Russo, brought to you by Midas Gold Group. And a reminder, opinions given here are not intended to be specific to your investment strategy, but rather general information to give you a better understanding of investing in precious metals. For answers to your questions, call the Midas Gold Group at 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-GOLD, by the numbers 855-322-4653. And the website is MidasGoldGroup.com, M-I-D-A-S, MidasGoldGroup.com. The Midas Gold Group is proud to be America's number one veteran-owned gold dealer, supporting veterans' causes with a portion of profits donated to the Wounded Warriors Project and the Semper Fi Fund. So your investment in your future is also an investment in the future of those who have bravely served the cause of freedom. Again, the number to call to speak directly with Midas Gold Group, 855-322-GOLD. I hope you'll write it down, and I hope you'll call, 855-322-GOLD. Hey, Ken, thank you so much for your time again today. Yeah, Happy New Year, Dave, 2023. That could be a big year for gold and silver, so good idea for people to start uh, on the right foot for sure. I think it could be a big year for people 
who collect gold and silver as well. I think it can be a real hedge against what is coming down the pike. I'm Dave Dino. Come and join us again next week at this same time for another edition of The Gold Standard. The Gold Standard was brought to you by the Midas Gold Group.